hey guys welcome once again to my channel if today is your first time you are welcome so in today's video we are going to do this beautiful and adorable bag you are going to learn how to make this bag from the crash from the beginning to the end of making this bag and i hope you'll be able to make it get your materials and let's get started so here are the materials we'll be needing for this bag or this project so we have our 0 0.8 millimeter pearl beads we also have our 0 0.7 fishing line we have our scissors and plier we'll be using to tighten our thread so to continue just take a thread with the length you can you are comfortable with or you can manage and pick four beads and put it on the thread and cross with the fourth bead just as i'm doing okay so after crossing it you pull it down and when you pull it down you are going to get something like that so to continue pick three beads put one on each thread and cross with the third bead and also pull down okay so you get something like this to continue just pick three beads again put one on each thread and cross with the third bead so this is what we are going to do this is the process we are going to do until we have 15 steps but on the 15th step we are going to turn so take note so we now we have 14 and we are going to put on the 15th one then we cross then we turn to one, the other side so that we can continue our work. So for you to be able to turn to one side, put all the three beads on one thread and cross with the third bead and pull down. So after that, you realize that your thread has turned to one side of your work. So we are going to weave all the way down. So to continue weaving down, take the thread that is on your left hand side or the one pointing to the top of your wig and put all the three beads on it and cross with the third bead so as you can see that is what i have done so now use the thread on your right fishing line and enter the next one bead down okay and now you are going to use your left fishing line again and pick two beads and cross with the second bead So after you cross the second bead, you enter the next one bead with your right fishing line again. And then you pick two beads onto your left fishing line and cross with the second bead. So that's what you are going to do till you get to the last bead. So when you get to the last bead, I'll meet you up there and I'll show you what to do. so now we are on the final bead which is the last one on this row so use your right fishing line to enter enter that particular bead and then you use the same right fishing line to pick two beads and cross with the second bead so crossing the second bead you are going to use your left fishing line to cross the second bead on the right fishing line And again, you realize that your work, your fishing line has turned to the other side, one side of what you are going to do again. So we are going to continue the process again. So now take the left fishing line and put three bits on it and cross with the third one. And you use your left fishing line to enter the next bead. And then you use your left fishing line to pick two bits, two bits at this point and cross with the second bead so we are going to continue the same process again until you get to the last bead
now you are on the last bit so you enter with your right fishing line and then you use your left fishing your right fishing line again to pick two beads then you use your left fishing line to cross it okay so now the fishing line has sent to one side again so you are going to continue weaving all the way down again so use your left fishing line to pick three beads and cross with the third one and cross with the third bead now you enter the next bead with your right fishing line and you use your left fishing line to pick two beads and cross with the second bead so continue all the way down so you are going to do this process until seven so because the size of our base is 15 by 7 so you are going to continue until you are 7 so i'll meet you up when you get to the last point so now this is our last bit on the seventh length okay on the seventh one okay so this is 15 by 7 okay so that is also 7 so you are going to complete it and then we'll continue weaving around it so just continue watching me so after you complete the piece we are going to weave around it so to weave around it just take any of the thread so in this case i'm using my right fishing line and i'll pick three beads okay and then i'll cross with the third bead so just continue watching me so, but in this case in at this time i'm not going to make it lie down but i'll make it stand so that we are we weave are all around this particular mat we have made so enter the next bit with your right fishing line now use your left fishing line to pick two beads and cross with the second bead also don't make it lie down so as you can see how it's standing okay so next you use your right fishing line to enter the next bead then you use your left fishing line to pick two beads and cross with the second bead so that's what you are going to do all round okay until we meet up at our beginning point again At this point my first trade or the trade i'm using is finished so i'm going to insert a new one so take a new trade and enter the next bit that you'll be entering and enter from the the one you used to cross again so as you see where i put in the two fishing line the fishing line and come out from so i'll just continue weaving so the trade that is on my left will pick two bits and then i'll cross with my right fishing line I'll make sure the edges of the thread are equal. Then I'll continue weaving. So now we are at the point of completing our second step again. So you enter the next last two bead, the next bead, and then one on where you begin from the second step from okay then you use just one bead to cross the two trade so after ending the second step with one bead we are going to use our left fishing line to pick three beads so this is two steps that i have made i'm going to go around it for 10 times okay for 10 times you can do it as long as or as high as you want your back to be or as long or tall you want your back to be okay so yeah i'll meet you up when i get to the 10th step So, so far I have made four. 
no i have made three i'll continue until the tenth one so this is the last step then we are done with the size of the back so you enter the last two bit this particular bit and this one And now you take one bead and cross with the other fish line, which is this one. Okay. So this is our bag. This is the size we are going for. This is 15 by 10. So, so we will now proceed to shape the bag. After we shape the bag, we will do the cover over here. But before we do that, let's finish our work and hide the thread. So to do that, just pass your thread, your leftover thread, through several beads this way. Straight. So let's go ahead and shape the back. okay so let's go ahead and shape the bag so to do that you take a new thread okay and this side the side of the bag is seven as you can see one two three four five six seven so we are going to fold it inside on the line okay i'm going to fold it inside like this so you count one two three you count one two okay then on this side also you count one two so in the middle the middle three you fold it inside this way which is this okay then you enter this particular bead so you enter this bead and then you take the other end of the tray you put one bead on it okay then one two three which you fold this side then you enter from here again okay now pick another one bit and cross the two this way okay so it's going to be something like this as you can see it's going to be something like this next you enter the next one this particular bit with your right fishing line Take your left fishing line again and enter this particular bead. Then you take one bead and cross both thread this way. So you enter the next one with your right fishing line. Your left fishing line will also enter the next bead. Then you take one bead and cross the two. Okay. So we are done with shaping it. This is okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do the same. So after that, just bring your thread together and make a knot. Okay. So just come back with either your left fishing line or your right fishing line. And then meet up with the other fishing line. As I'm doing, okay. So we are done with this side of the bag. So I'll do the this shape at this side of camera, and I'll meet you up so that we can do the cover. So go ahead and cut the excess thread. now take a new thread and begin your cover okay so what we are going to do is that this side is 15 and we are going to leave two at this left side and two at the right side okay so when you take your ss thread just on the line here which is the very corner of it okay just leave one two and enter the third bead 
so when you enter the third bead just take the thread on your on your left hand side and pick three beads and put all on it and cross with the third bead bring your edges together so none of the thread is longer than the other okay so now you take your right fishing line and you enter the next bead take your left fishing line and pick two beads and cross with the second bead So we are going to repeat this second process you enter your next bead with your right fishing line then you take your left fishing line and pick two beads and cross with the second bead this way you enter the next bead so we are going to do that until you get here because we are leaving two at the end okay so this is the last one because we are leaving two here okay so this is the last one so you take your right fishing line you put two bits on it because we want to turn and continue weaving that is why we are using our right fishing line to pick the bits so you cross with your left fishing line so you realize that the thread has turned to this side okay so we are going to weave back to the first one here so now we are going to weave forth and back forth and back for several times or until you you know that it's okay for you to cover your back okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to take our left fishing line which is this one then we'll keep three bits and put on it then we'll cross with the third bead with our right fishing line so this is what you'll be getting you now enter the next bead then you take your left fishing line now you pick two beads and cross with the second one you enter the next bead with your right fishing line then you take your left fishing line and pick two bits again so you are going to repeat this process until you get to the last bit here so this is the last one we are ending on it so for us to turn again and continue with him back we we'll pick our right fishing line and put two beads on it. Then we we'll use our left fishing line to cross. Okay, so now the thread has turned to this side again. We are going to use our left fishing line. Pick three beads. Okay. Then we we'll cross with the third bead. And weave back again to the last bead. So we are going to do this for several times for like. So this is the last step, okay? The last step for the cover. After that, I'll do one to just decrease it to give it a shape. So this is the last one so the tenth one is what i'm going to use to decrease it so i'll not start from the first one i'll start from the second one and i'll end on the last but one bit here so to do that i'll just bring my thread to this point So the thread is out from here so I'll take this particular thread the one on my left 
and I'll put three beads on it. Now I'll be crossing with the third bead. So you can see some small little shape here. So you are going to continue, you enter the next bead with your right fishing line. Then on your left fishing line, you pick two beads. Then you cross with the second bead. So you enter the next bead. So you are going to continue this process until you get to the last but one bead. So this is the last one, we are ending here. So yeah, we are done, we are done with the main bag. We just bring our thread to one point and we'll make a knot. So we just make a knot and cut out the excess thread, okay. Make sure that it is very strong and secure. Then you cut off the excess thread. Okay. So this is the back. We'll go ahead and do the handle at this point. To do that, take a new thread and enter this particular bead where you, you make the design. Enter the middle bead. So here you see that it's five beads here. So enter the middle bead, which is the third one okay so you enter like this so you open your thread like this pick two bits of this same size you use for the back okay one on each end of the thread then you bring the thread together and now we are going to use this particular size of bit to do the handle Now you open the thread again. Then you put two beads, the small one on one on each thread. And now we are going to cross in the middle bead here. So you come out from one side and then come out from the other side this way. Okay. So this is it. So now you pass the thread through several bits to just secure it. Okay. So. So just make sure that it is very firm. After that, you cut off your SS thread and then your bag is ready okay this is our bag this is our bag thank you very much for watching this video up to this point i'm glad you are able to watch this video to this point and you'll be able to do your own thank you very much follow me on all social media i'm on tiktok as craft by beauty or just craft and i'm on facebook just craft and on instagram as well just craft so after doing it and you're happy about your way you can just send me a picture for me to see what you have done this bag you can do it and sell or even use it yourself for so many occasions you can send this back to church for date night with your 
better have or with girl girls and any other place you would like to send this back to anywhere this back will go thank you very much for watching once again i'll see you in my next video video bye